God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, March 17th. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 5 to 10. Also, so also Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but he was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Mel Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for the all who obey him. Having been designated by God a high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek. So our Lenten devotional series was produced by Luther Seminary, Minnesota. Driving home from a doctor's appointment, my 12-year-old daughter, Sarah, was understandably disgruntled with the news that she might require yet one more surgery. Why is this happening to me, she said from the back seat. I don't know, sweetie. I wish I did, but that's a good thing to pray about, I replied. Well, it's an argument, argument prayer, she said. Yes, it's an argument prayer, I answered. And that's an important kind of prayer. The Bible is full of argument prayers. The author of Hebrews writes that Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who who was able to save him from death. As a good Jew, Jesus was not afraid to wrestle with and question God. In the book of Psalms, you'll find plenty of argument prayers, by the way. Following the example of the psalmist, then, and of Jesus himself, we should be bold to approach God honestly with all our questions, our fear, our anger, and our argument prayers, knowing that God will hear us. Let us pray. Jesus, our High Priest, often the world around us is not what it should be and we don't understand what you are doing about it. Teach us to pray with honesty and boldness, trusting that you hear us and will answer us. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whatever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.